All right, today I'm just going to teach you uh, a choke that Udo Kormans, who was, I think he was, he was a world champion, he won the 96 Olympics, you know, I think 65 kilos uh, or 66s. Anyway, this is his, uh, his strangle that, that he does. Okay, it's pretty, pretty nifty, it's pretty good. It's going to be on my opponent's in turtle, okay? Just like the Gigi Gitami, we have to get a hook in. The hook pretty much controls my opponent's body. If I don't get a hook in, it's really hard to work him or turn him over or anything like that. So, my opponent's in turtle, okay? I need to get a hook in. What I'm gonna do again, pull, get a hook. Now, I'm just gonna grab his neck here, on, his, on the top of his, the back of his neck, let's lift up, and the same side lapel, let's see, lift up, and the same side lapel, okay? My left knee is gonna be right in the center of my opponent's bum, so just turn around. Keep going, keep going. He's right here, okay? So it's right in the center. Now what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to push this direction to get a reaction. So I'm going to push this way and my opponent is going to go this way. Okay, so I do a quick push, he pushes back, I pull using my leg. Come around this way. Pull, pull using my leg to here, so I've almost got his back. Now if he's a BJJ guy, he might start turning towards me, in which case I'll hold him down. So don't do that. <laughs> okay. If he's a judo guy, he'll wrap my leg. That's good. Notice now that because my, my left knee was in the middle of Christian's bum, that it's now out. It's not stuck underneath him. That's the reason why we've started there. Okay, it's behind him. This left hand's still behind his neck, and this hand is still on the lapel here, on the same side of the lapel. Now what I can do is I can sit up. I'm on my opponent. And from here, with this hand, the thumb is going to slide from the back of the neck to here. It's going to be open under his neck. And with this hand, I pass the gi in. Now from here, this hand goes behind the head to finish with the curiary jimmy. Single wing choke. Okay, so from here, when I, there, I come up. But I lay stand low on my opponent. Because my opponent might be still trying to turn towards me. Turn towards me? Yeah. And he's going to try to get, yeah, he's going to try to work. Okay, or he's just going to sit there and I can start working a choke. Okay, this hand really slides down the back of his jaw with my hand open. Okay, down the back of the jaw, hand open. I don't want to come right across like a rear naked, I just want to stay there. And this hand feeds the gear in. Hold it tight, hand behind the head, push down, put the choke on. Okay, if he rolls forwards, because his arm's kind of stuck, he might try to roll that way. If he does that, I grab the opposite lapel and keep rolling. And now I have the opposite lapel instead. Finish again. So one more time, how do you, how you start it? Okay. He's down, back of the neck. Right hand on the same side of the lapel. Pull, catch, okay. I now use my leg to pull him around behind me. Make sure his knee's out, see? And now it's come around here. And then from here, feed the gear, hand behind the head to finish. <laughs>